Hello, in this video we're going to do sample test questions dealing with the topic of opportunity cost. Question 1. What you give up to obtain an item is considered the... That's the definition of opportunity cost. Answer C. Question 2. Philip decides to work on Saturday morning rather than play pickleball with his friends. He will earn $100 for his Saturday morning shift. What is Philip's opportunity cost of working on Saturday morning? Correct answer here is D, the enjoyment he would have received by playing pickleball with his friends. That's what he gives up by working. Question three, if Millie goes to college, she will spend $30,000 on tuition, $20,000 on room and board, and $2,000 on books. If she does not go to college, she will earn income of $60,000 and spend $20,000 on room and board. What is Millie's opportunity cost of college? Our answer choices. The correct answer is going to be C, $92,000. And this is how I got that answer. I took $30,000 plus the $20,000 of college room and board. I added to it $2,000. Then I also added in uh, some of the foregone opportunities here of earning $60,000. Uh, if you didn't go to college, you'd make $60,000 of income. So I add that in. And then I subtract out room and board from not going to college. And since the room and board costs of going to college and room and board costs of not going to college are the same, those two values cancel. And we're left with a value of $92,000. Question four. Mark is working as a management trainee and is earning $55,000 a year. If Mark decides to quit his job to enroll in a one-year accelerated MBA program, what are the opportunity costs of attending this program? Correct answer here is going to be D. All of these answers are correct. So by attending this program, he'll give up the $55,000 of income. He'll give up the lost value of the fringe benefits that he received as a management trainee, and we need to include the cost of tuition and books of attending the program. Answer D. Question five, the opportunity cost of going to college will be the highest for, so we got uh, several individuals here. It's going to be highest for the neurosurgeon, Dr. Robert Jackson, who is a neurosurgeon at John Hopkins Hospital. If he were to quit his job and go back to college, he'd be sacrificing a great deal of income. Answer B. Question six, Stan is on the college golf team at Stanford and one of the best young players in the country. He decides to drop out of college to play golf professionally. What explains Stan's decision? Correct answer here is B. Stan's opportunity cost of staying in college is too high given the high earnings he can make playing professional golf. Moving on to question seven. On Sunday, Bella spends one hour preparing for an upcoming exam. What is her opportunity cost? Answer A, the opportunity cost is what Bella would have done with her time instead of studying for the exam. That is the correct answer. Answer choice B, C, and D are incorrect. Question eight. For most students, the largest opportunity cost of attending college is? Correct answer here is B, the lost wages from not working. Question nine, Chuck decides to skip class to go to the gym. What is the opportunity cost of his choice? The knowledge he would have received from attending class. That is the correct answer. Answer choice A. Question 10, as the opportunity cost of doing an activity increases, we expect people to do B, less of the activity. So the correct answer here is answer B. Question 11, who has the opportunity cost of not working? A, Mary is certified public accountant with an MBA from UCLA. B, Dave, an oral surgeon with 10 years of work experience. C, P, 
Peter, a chemical engineer who recently graduated from college, or D? And the correct answer here is going to be D. Uh, Marty has the, 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 the lowest earnings prospects of all of these individuals. So answer choice D. Question 12. Opportunity cost is the best alternative for gone when making a choice. That is a true statement. Question 13. You have $2 to buy a drink, either a $2 soda, $2 cup of coffee, or $2 tea. You prefer soda to coffee and prefer coffee to tea. What is the opportunity cost of purchasing soda? Well, your best alternative is coffee, and so that will be the opportunity cost of purchasing soda. Answer A. Question 14. Shelby pays $10 to watch a movie at a local theater on Friday night. The opportunity cost of seeing a movie is... The correct answer here is B. $10 plus the lost time. She could have been doing something else if not attending the movie. Question 15. The city government of Philadelphia decides to spend $100 million constructing a sports stadium. What is the opportunity cost associated with this spending? Correct answer here is D. The other projects that cannot be funded because resources were spent on building the stadium. Answer D. Question 16. Bob, Tom, and Tim are all studying for an exam. Correct answer here is the opportunity cost of studying is going to be different for different people. Answer choice B. Question 17. Consider an Uber driver. If the wages for driving for Uber increase, the opportunity cost of... Answer choice B. Taking leisure increases. So if you're not driving for Uber, you're taking leisure, you're giving up making bigger bucks. So answer choice B. When calculating the opportunity cost of playing a round of golf, a person should consider. The correct answer here is A, the price of playing a round of golf and the value of your time that you could have spent doing something else. Question 19. Thomas could repaint his bedroom by purchasing $200 of latex paint. Chad could repaint his bedroom by purchasing $150 of latex paint. Which of the following statements are true? Correct answer here is B. Chad's opportunity cost of painting could be higher than Thomas's, depending on the value of each person's time. Question 20. Consider the two situations in which a person who values their time at $20 an hour buys 20 gallons of gasoline. In situation one, price per gallon of gasoline is $5, and there's no waiting to get gas. In situation two, the price per gallon of gasoline is $4 because of a government price ceiling. The price ceiling creates a shortage of gasoline. There are long lines of cars at gas pumps taking approximately two hours for a person to reach the front of the pump and buy gasoline. Answer D is correct. All answer choices here are correct. The opportunity cost of buying $20 of gasoline at $5 per gallon is $100 and is actually lower than buying gasoline at $4 per gallon. The opportunity cost of buying $20 of gasoline at $4 a gallon is $120. How did I get that? Well, the $4 price tag here times 20 is $80, but then you need to consider the time cost. Two hours at $20 an hour is another $40, so 80 plus 40 is 120. And answer choice C, as I just explained, the time cost of buying $20 of gasoline when the price is $4 is just the two, dot, two hours that you need to wait to get to the front of the pump and the value of your time at $20 an hour, 2 times 20. All right, 21, when it comes to room and board, the opportunity cost of attending college. Correct answer here is D, should include only the difference in room and board expenses if it is more expensive to live at college than to live if not attending college. 22. Stacy received a Christmas bonus from her employer of $200. She can spend that money today or save it in her bank account at an annual interest rate of 5%. 
what is the opportunity cost of spending the $200 today versus what she could have after one year? And the correct answer here is A, $210. So if you put this money in an account for one year at 5%, you'll have interest income of $10, just 5% of 200. And if you add that to your $200 at $10, after one year, you'll have $210. So answer choice A. So question 23, when some people lose their jobs, they become eligible for welfare benefits and unemployment compensation. Does receiving welfare benefits and unemployment compensation affect the opportunity cost of being unemployed? Correct answer here is answer A. These programs reduce the opportunity cost. They reduce the hardship of being unemployed, therefore reducing the incentive for people to leave unemployment and find a new job. Answer choice A. Okay, that's it.